All right, so let's pick up right where we left off in the previous lesson. I'm here at regex101.com and I have the same sentence. I went to the store and bought five apples, four oranges, and 15 plums. In this lesson, I want to introduce you to this symbol, slash W, which stands for any word character. So what do we mean by any word character? It means any alphanumeric character. So that means any alphabetic character, A through Z, either lowercase or uppercase, as well as any digit, okay? So in this sentence, the only thing that's not going to be in that category is gonna be the spaces, the commas, and the periods. Let's take a look. So right here, slash, lowercase w, you can see it's gonna highlight just about everything. Any alphabetic character, any digit, okay? Right here on the top right, we can see the description. It's the set of all characters, A through Z, lowercase, a through Z uppercase, the digits zero through nine. And one thing I forgot to mention that's also included is underscores, okay? So slash W is any alphanumeric character, alphabet or digits. Conversely, slash capital W is going to be the opposite. Anything that is not alphanumeric. So in this case, spaces, commas, uh, dots, if I add something like a dollar sign in here, you know, a percentage sign, a hashtag, those are all other examples. Anything that is not part of the alphabet and not a digit and not an underscore, that is what the capital W will capture. As always, the lowercase and the uppercase are inverses of each other. They are the opposite of each other. Lowercase W is the alphabetic characters and the digits. Capital W is everything else. All right, that's all there is to cover in this lesson. So I will see you in the next one.